Now, we will see how G is influencing the kinematic equations in two cases. Freely falling body, body projected upwards. So freely falling body means take a body which is falling freely towards the ground. When falling towards the ground, its acceleration A equal to plus G. Any body which is in motion has acceleration. So this acceleration is because of its gravity and that gra acceleration is called acceleration due to gravity which is G. And the body is falling freely, its initial velocity is U, its final velocity is V, the height it travelled is H. And the, when the body falls freely, you know that the initial velocity u equal to 0. If we apply these conditions for kinematic equation, what we have learned in the previous classes, three kinematic equations we have learned, v equal to u plus at, v square minus u square equal to 2as and s equal to ut plus half at square. Let me apply these conditions on those formulas. Number 1, v equal to u plus at. So, if you supply these conditions here, so we get V equal to as U is 0, 0, A is G and T. So, we will get V equal to G T. From this formula, we can find final velocity of freely falling body before it touching the ground. And this formula, if you little modify it, T equal to V by G, then this T is called time of descent. Very important formula in numericals. Time of descent for a freely falling body, T equal to V by G is the first equation. The second one, S equal to Ut plus half At square. S is distance travelled and here distance travelled is H equal to as freely falling body U is 0, U into T is 0 plus half G T square. So H equal to half G T square. Using this formula, you can find the height or the distance of the freely falling body when time is given to you. Cut. Next one. V square minus u square equal to 2as. So, v square is v square, u square is 0, 2gh. Therefore, v equal to root over 2gh. So, another important formula in this freely falling bodies. If you know the height, travel you can find the velocity. If you know the velocity, you can find height also. Cut. So, we have derived these formulas by applying these conditions in kinematic equations. Let us we see what will happen for body projected upwards. Body projected upward means the body moving vertically upward against the gravity, against the attractive force. As against, A is always minus G. And when you want to throw the body, you have to apply some force on the body. When applying the force on the body, the body has initial velocity u. But when it reaches to the maximum height, its final velocity v becomes 0. And the height it travel is capital H. Now, apply the first condition, v equal to u plus at. So, v equal to 0, u is given. A is minus G into T. So, therefore, I can say U equal to GT. So, you can find the initial velocity of the body projected if you know the time. There is another advantage. From this, I can write T equal to U by G. And this is called time of ascent. Cut. Next one. S equal to ut plus half at square. Now, S distance travel is nothing but height u t half a is minus g, so you get minus g t square. So, using this formula, you can find how much of height is traveled if you know time period of travel. Now, third one v square minus u square equal to 2as. So, final velocity v equal to 0, initial velocity u square, 2 into minus g, a is minus g, into s is h. 
So minus minus will be cancelled. You'll get u square equal to 2g h implies h equal to u square by 2g. So this is another important formula for body projected upwards where you can find the maximum height reached if you know the initial velocity of the body cut. So we have learned what are different cases in body projected upwards and freely falling body. Before we finish this, I would like to tell you about this times t equal to v by g and t equal to u by g. Observe these two formulas carefully. Suppose I have started from here with u velocity I throw. So body goes to the maximum point. When it goes to maximum point, again falling back to the ground point. And the ground point here I told v, there I told u. Actually both are same, u and v. So if you take a case that a body is projected up and falls down. When projected up, it projected with the initial velocity u and when falling down, it falls with the final velocity v. But as in two cases, the body is in the same level and here you can say u equal to v. So from here to here, it is time of ascent, ta, u by g. Here to here, it is time of descent, td, equal to v by g. So, Time of flight, time of flight is the total time taken by the body to move to the highest point and come back to the same level on the ground point. The time of flight total time t equal to ta plus td. So time of ascent is u by g plus time of descent is v by g. Like this you can write or else as u equal to v you can say t equal to 2u by g or t equal to tv by g.